Today, we're taking a journey to an interstellar space-themed island where cosmic wonders and galactic landscapes await. This out-of-this-world island where the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning, is by Matilda, who has created so many amazing Animal Crossing islands. Matilda's Instagram will be linked below so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. That is wild. And before we begin this tour, let's just take a moment to thank this video sponsor. I'm so grateful to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video because recently my grocery runs have been scarce due to constant travel. That's where HelloFresh has really stepped in as a lifesaver. They take care of the meal planning and shopping, leaving me just to unpack my box of pre-portioned ingredients and start cooking. We all want to cut costs, eat healthier, and reduce stress. HelloFresh is helping me achieve all three of those things. As a member of America's number one meal kit, I'm enjoying the tastiest year ever with premium ingredients and amazing recipes at an unbeatable price, all delivered straight to my doorstep. And for those who love sweets like I do, there's really good news for you. HelloFresh now offers free dessert for life to all new members. That means you get a complimentary dessert with every HelloFresh box as long as you maintain your subscription. Click the link in the description or use my code Katie16FM and get 16 free meals and free dessert for life while subscription is active. Thank you to HelloFresh once again for sponsoring this video. Hello from outer space. <laughs> Look at how cute this outfit is. Oh my goodness, I die. There were a couple of presents left outside of resident services, including this super cute spacesuit and let me turn around a jetpack <laughs> so so adorable of course before we begin the tour let's go ahead and check out the map and of course no surprises with this villager lineup we have big top ruby rocket perfect name for this island too i gotta say then we have petri cephalobot agent s kid cat sprocket rattle and Ribot. Also, every single home is decorated as well as the main resident rep's home. So we have a lot to explore. Grab a snack. <laughs> I cannot wait to look around. I love space themed islands. I feel like they're super uncommon too. Oh my goodness, restricted area. Uh oh, well, here we go. <laughs> here is this entrance. Oh my goodness, and I'm gonna go have to say hello to the resident rep. I just saw them peek around the corner. So much fun. Very industrial, feels like a spaceship of sorts that we're entering. Again, it's a restricted area. And can I just point out, I don't know if this was intentional, but the way that the moon is perfectly above the roof of the house right now, it's giving me life. <laughs> it is giving me um, intelligent life on another planet. <laughs> And okay, let's say hello. Hello, hello. All systems are a go. All right, Roger. Roger that. <laughs> and since we're here and there is a home with someone in it, we absolutely have to go inside. So let's check out. Yes, and it looks like we are being told to go in here. So commander's orders, let's go ahead and go inside the house. Oh my goodness. So very much a spaceship and a tube that I'm guessing we're supposed to take. Before we do, I'm gonna check out the downstairs and upstairs, but oh my gosh, so well made. Oh my goodness. And I love too how we've used like so many different kinds of computers. That is such a nice little detail. Like there are three different types of like stationary computers that we have here, all with a different purpose. Oh my gosh, so cool. Let's go upstairs and downstairs first, but then I'm absolutely gonna hop in that tube and see where it takes us. I'm way too curious. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, how cool. This is so cool. Creative. It really feels like we have launched. We are looking at Earth from up above. Wait a minute. This is so genius. 
And not to mention how creative is using this wallpaper with the glow in the dark stickers to create an incredible view. We have a view of the stars, but of course we're being protected by the ship itself. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so creative. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Well, now I'm curious as to what is going to be in the basement here. Let's check it out and see. Whoa, so definitely a research station of sorts for aliens, perhaps? Tons of gyroids, fossils. Oh my goodness, we even have a little, a little hamster right here. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I'm not gonna pan all the way around just because I know this background is meant to be the way it is, but whoa. Again, so creative. Whoa, how spooky. Look at the computer. <laughs> oh my gosh, so smart. I love it. Looks like there is intelligent life on this planet. Got some aliens happening. Okay, let's go ahead and hop right on in. Oh my gosh, where is it going to take us? <gasps> Whoa! We're on the moon! <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa. So genius. This is so cool. Wow. We are straight up in space. Look at how cool too. This is genius for so many reasons, but I would like to just point out and appreciate what is happening right here? Clearly, we have landed on the moon or a planet of some sort. I'm guessing it's the moon. Well, maybe not. I guess, wait, hold on. If the moon is behind us, anyway, I don't know. Planets have lots of, of moons. <laughs> Katie Science 101, planets have lots of moons. Anyway, I really love how the campsite has actually been turned into a camping site for us, the astronauts, the researchers. This is kind of our, our bunker right here. We have a little satellite. We can still communicate with everyone. Oh my gosh. Hi, Cephalobot. That is also cool. Look, we have a rocket. See, there's another moon right there. I told you, planets have lots of moons. We might only have one, but uh, other ones have multiple. Right? <laughs> Now I'm afraid that I'm like just completely flying and I'm inaccurate. This is so wild. Okay, I guess I'm just going to keep going right and explore the whole right side back here. Crazy. Oh my gosh. The villager home down there. It looks like we can get to them through this incline, which is perfect because... Oh, and the secret beach. Perfect which is perfect because they are decorated. Oh, oops, I didn't actually knock on the door. There we go. <laughs> Let's see who's inside. Whoa, Ruby. Oh my gosh, no doubt in my mind that Ruby is an alien. <laughs> Look at this. Holy cow. Who would have thought using this very glacier-esque wallpaper with this pink lighting would feel as eerie and spooky as it does. So cool. And we have an egg that's about to hatch. What is it? What, what's in there? What is in that egg, Ruby? What is in that egg? Also, let us all have the confidence to wear our own face on our own shirt, just like Ruby is doing here. Let us all have that confidence. Put your own face on a shirt. Man, that is so cool. I'm kind of bummed that Cephalobot is out walking around because I'm sure the inside of your home, sir, it's such a weird day and it's only getting weirder. <gasps> he thinks I'm an alien. Oh my goodness. He thinks I'm an alien. Yeah, I'm sure Cephalobot's home is like super cool 
everything and no one's inside these two, but we've got someone to visit over here. Man, this is so creative. I love how this island truly is telling us a story. We started in the spaceship. Fresh. Holy cow, Sprocket. And I love that this one has tons of green accents, kind of perfectly matching Sprocket's vibe. Number four, alien number four. Whoa. But this whole story on this island is just, it's genius. We start off entering an area that has restricted access. We have access, but we go to the ship. The ship takes off. We say goodbye to Earth. And we start discovering intelligent life on this planet. <laughs> So cool. And actually, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna look at the map one more time because I am curious. Okay, all right. So we do have Abel's Nooks and the museum to find. I was unsure if we would see those. I know we have the campsite. But I was very curious if we would have the other structures to find. Very cool. This pathing, not to be cheesy and say it's out of this world, but it is out of this world. Kudos to the path maker of this incredible island. Oh my gosh, look at the beach. Whoa. How cool are the beaches? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Definitely, definitely giving me signs vibes, M. Night Shyamalan science vibes because of the wheat fields. <laughs> this is so cool. This is an amazing island and just a perfect, perfect example on how pathing is kind of your make or break for a theme because like there are obviously beautiful items scattered throughout, but what's giving the effect of us being in outer space is not only the fact that it's set at nighttime and we have a starry backdrop, but this incredible pathing. Wow. Well, now I gotta know. Let's go all the way back here. Okay, so we are on the planet. Oh my gosh, Ribot. Ribot, I wanna see your home too. This is so. So creative. I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. <laughs> I can't get over that. So smart. And then the same thing over here on this beach. Gosh, this is genius. Now, of course, we're going to have to go back to the ship and conduct some research and look around the space. I almost said space force. Who am I? <laughs> Look around the Space Force a little more. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Would you guys go into outer space if given the opportunity? Wait, that's cool. Got a little... Got a little something happening over there. There's something brewing. Alien! Alien! Okay, let's go back. <laughs> this was so crazy. <laughs> so much fun! This whole island, so much fun. Okay, okay, okay. Where is my spaceship? Back to the ship. Wee! That is so much fun. I don't know if I just, you know, went and, and I don't want to say ruined the surprise too early because I guess there's no like wrong or right time to actually like visit the other planet, but. That was so cool. That was so cool and we still have so much to explore. Wow, which let me just show you guys how to get to and from the airport. So this is where a lot of the, the president, <laughs> the presidents, oh my God. Yes, um, Abraham Lincoln was right here and then George Washington was right here. And then Theodore Roosevelt was over this way. This is where Barack Obama was. <laughs> this is where the presents were displayed. 
So if you decide to dream of this island, which oh my gosh, you should, because how creative and amazing is it? This is where you'll wake up and uh, this is where you can find some cute outfit options. Right, Rattle? He wants nothing to do with me. <gasps> Whoa, what's over this way? I didn't even go this way. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is so wild. The way that this part of the island is completely different. I rock it completely different from where we just were with the whole back part being a different planet. Oh my gosh, it's so intelligent and genius. Okay, it looks like we, I'm gonna try and guess whose home this is. I'm gonna say based on everything over this way and it looks very science and research based, I think this is going to be Petrie's house. We'll find out. Oh my gosh, I want a million dollars. Oh good, what an incredible villager addition in the 2.0 update, by the way. I think Petrie is absolutely outstanding. We love women in STEM and she's just so cute. Oh my gosh, not to mention um, her makeup on point. Like, yeah, she's a scientist, but she's a fabulous one. Look at her, <laughs> look at those eyelashes. Dang, girl. This house is incredible. I'm glad I guessed it correctly. It's cooking something up back there. And we got robots. Uh, a ton. Whoa. I don't, again, I, I think this is like purely coincidental. But the way that the moon has been in a lot of these like camera shots that I'm whipping out has been just so perfectly placed. Like, look, it looks like the robot is holding the moon. <laughs> Such a cool view. Also, I wanted to point this out right before I went into the home and I didn't, but I love, absolutely love how these television sets are placed on the inside of the display cases. Like that looks really great. And here we have a sand bridge. What's over this way? Oh, more rockets. Rockets for rocket. <gasps> Wait. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Always pan up, Katie. Always pan up because otherwise I'm gonna miss builds like this. Holy cow. How cool is this? I, I, I mean, you already know how obsessed I am when people create structures out of items in Animal Crossing. It's just so impressive and so cool. But especially when they're themed so specifically, like this one is, wow, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now we'll go this way. Whoa, wait. What are in these display cases? Can I look in there? <gasps> Creepy. Creepy. It's like a little greenhouse of sorts. Growing some, some plants, some food. Whoa. Whoa, that's so creepy. In a cool way, obviously. Here we have a couple more villager homes, which I'm so excited to go into. The villager homes so far have just been incredible. And all so, so perfectly themed, of course. Even the main home, that was what took us to the other planet. That is just wild. Oh my gosh, hello. Hello, Kit Kat. Wait, Kit Kat or Agent S? Kit Kat, yeah, 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 yeah. Agent S is a squirrel. So fun. And the colors again perfectly match, which I love. Love having the villagers aesthetic being represented in there, in their home or whatever they're living in. <laughs> and these curtains as a little divider to where the bed is, is really smart. We also have some workout gear back here because you know, 
kind of stay on your game. I saw, I saw some aliens out there. If we need to fight them, you know, you gotta be strong. So freaking cool. All right, let's backtrack and go the other way. There is so much to see. I mean, whenever we got to the planet, I was like, this is wild. The amount of space, unintended, <laughs> that is on this island is so crazy. Okay, so this is the main home. Let me go back to the airport and just make sure I didn't miss anything over, over this way. Oh, I guess I did. Oh, I missed the whole front. Oh, wait, no, this is the airport entrance. Just kidding. Just kidding. And then when we go this way, back to resident services and went there and then that's blocked off okay cool just want to make sure i'm crossing my t's and dotting my i's as again i don't want to miss anything if i can help it we know i do often because i am directionally challenged but <laughs> i try not to so these beds i remember when these came out creepy but very useful on an island like this. Cool. So many items that I just kind of forget exist that I'm seeing. And partially because, oh my goodness, here's the rocket. Whoa, this whole view is crazy too. As I was saying, there are so many items that I really just forget exist in this game because they don't, you know, match whatever I'm currently designing, and so I ignore them. But then whenever I see them on islands like this, it is always so inspirational. Stop it, look at the laundry down there. Oh my gosh, how brilliant. We got laundry robots. That's all I want. I mean, I guess a laundry machine in general is a laundry robot, right? It'd be nice if someone folded it for me and <laughs> you know I had a robot to do other things. Whoa, so cool. How'd it closed? Is that not closed? Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering. And then over here, an insane control center. What? <gasps> So cool. Oh my gosh, look at the arcade machine over there on the left. That is so brilliant. <laughs> so cool, this whole area. Oh wait, did I go down this way? I did not, because this is where the laundry robot is. And this is Agent S. Hello, please do my laundry. Please exist in real life. <laughs> and we have a little bar. So cool. I gotta say, the ice sculptures, those items look so phenomenal on this kind of island. And I don't know if I've pointed this out yet. You, I'm sure, have noticed. This whole island is set in the winter because, of course, we need kind of like a, you know, white, clear type of path which definitely definitely helps have that for this kind of island this is so fun oh dang i was hoping this villager would be home i just love the interiors to all of these they're so creative they're so unique to the villager too hello again rattle are you following me why do I think that Rattle like thinks I'm sick or that Rattle is trying to poison me? It could it could go either way. It could go either way. Who's in here? Big Top? I'm gonna guess Big Top. Oh my gosh, I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm just very lucky today. Whoa! Oh my gosh, holy green! Even I look green and I'm in a white suit. So cool. So much fun. 
Dang, and now I wish I could see Agent S's room because I'm sure it's like very blue and very fun. It is so creative too to have this like porter potty right here, even though like it definitely could work as a locker of sorts or a closet. And tons of snacks. Tons and tons of snacks. Oh my gosh, genius. His room uh, might be my favorite so far, dare I say. But I also really liked Rubies and Sprockets as they were like the aliens. That is so much fun. Okay, let's go down this land bridge now. See where it takes us. Also, details like this are so cool too. Like right here, we just have a little fenced off area with a couple of wires. Things like that, that just, you know, if you need a filler space, it's just so genius and so creative. Something I would never be able to think of. I'd be like, well, let's put a park bench there and call it a day. Check this out. Oh my gosh. This is wild. It's so eerie. All of this machinery around us. Whoa. Am I crazy or does this island feel giant? Who lives here? Who's this? This is Rattle's house. He's out to get me, you guys. And yes, I see that incline and I will go down it in a second, but I want to check out this whole area too. Oh, this is Nook's Cranny. Oh my gosh, I did not even recognize it. I did not even recognize it. I mean, now it makes perfect sense. It looks like we have a shipping station over here to our left right there but whoa this is our shopping district and i had absolutely no idea my gosh and this whole path is accessible back this way too i was just saying in my previous video how cool it is that islands that are themed this heavily still make every island amenity like very accessible. Like we saw the campsite, we've seen Able Sisters, Nook's Cranny, obviously resident services. The museum I think is over here to the right, I'm pretty sure. But it is really cool to see islands like this still be usable, like fully usable. If you wanna go shopping at Nook's Cranny, it's not hidden. You can get to it quite easily and yet it looks incredible. Oh my gosh, stop in a little cafe. Like this item. I totally forgot this item right here with the lunch trays on it, some napkins. Didn't even know it existed. Or maybe I did at one point. I completely forgot about it. But this whole little cafe is so cool. Wow. This area is just wild. Okay, and we're back to that control center. And then, hello, we said hi to you already. Okay, and then we're back to the cafe. So let me go back to that incline because I think that's where the museum is if I'm remembering the map correctly. I think it was to the right of the shopping district. So crazy. And perfectly, we have an arrow right here. Oh my gosh, it's literally right here is the museum. Again, camouflaged so well. You never would have known. You never would have known that was there. Or at least I didn't see it. Holy smokes. What an island. What a freaking island. Just want to make sure as I'm backtracking, I don't think we have missed a specific area. I am just floored though. What an absolute trip, quite literally a trip to the moon. In fact, since that was just so much fun the first time before we end this video, I kind of want to go back. I feel like that is a perfect place just to do a little outro. And I know I said this in the beginning, and um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you have definitely seen some of Matilda's amazing islands, but do yourself a huge favor. Go check out Matilda's Instagram. There are so many incredible Animal Crossing builds, some of which I have never shown on my channel just because at this point, let's be real, my channel is kind of like a fan channel of what she creates because it's incredible. <laughs> but again, do yourself a favor, go give Matilda some love. She creates absolutely brilliant islands just like this one, each so unique from the other two, which is mind blowing. 
I hope you guys are having such an amazing day wherever you are in this big old world. Thank you so much again to our sponsor, HelloFresh, in this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.